Hey YouTubers, this is Pratik Joshi and welcome to my channel. Today I have initiated a new series called Interview Questions and Answer for AWS. Now let me give you a brief idea and brief introduction about myself. So I am a senior technical architect and a senior interview panelist as well. Now one major problem which I identified during my interview sessions were whenever I was with a candidate and asking questions to them about AWS services. They are pretty good with the theoretical part, but when I, when I go a bit deeper with practical things and the configuration things, they started fumbling and they become dicey on the answers. So that was the main motto uh, for me to uh, start this channel. And in this channel, I'm going to cover the most important part of theoretical as well as lab for a specific service which gives you the heads up on your interview so i'm going to put all my experience and uh, identifications of aws services into these videos and i'm going to cover theoretical part as well as lab also so that you will have a very clear idea about specific session so if you are preparing for AWS, I must recommend you to subscribe to this channel. And if you are not, in that case also subscribe to the channel. It will obviously going to add a good amount of uh, knowledge to your pocket. To start with the AWS services, I firstly identified a very important service called IAM. IAM stands for Identity Access Management. Now this is a very important and very uh, crucial service in AWS. What IAM provides us? IAM is the main component of AWS services that is called AWS Identity and Access Management which enables you to manage access to AWS services and resources securely. Using IAM, you can create and manage AWS users and groups and use permissions to allow and deny their access to AWS resources. IAM is a feature of your AWS account offered at no additional charges, but obviously when you are going to use any specific service of AWS using this user, you will be going to charge as per this service. Uh, provided by AWS and the charges provided by AWS. We are going to look into these points in a lab as well so you will get a more clear idea that how we can set up AWS IAS, IAM sorry, and how we can utilize this to its max. The other main features which IAM provides is like central centralized control to your AWS account it doesn't make uh, matter uh, where you are but still if you have your user you can access it from anywhere you have shared access to aws you have granular permissions using iam and multi-factor authentication as well then you can create user group and rows as well you can manage your policies also so all these topics I'm going to cover into the lab and I'll demonstrate you that how we can uh, do it in AWS. So currently I am in my AWS account. I logged in using my AWS account. The first thing which you need to try is to go to IAM. You can find your IAM into security and identity uh, compliance where you can find your IAM. You need to press that. There you'll find multiple options, user, group, and roles. So uh, if I want to give you uh, one real-time example of IAM role where it can work. So in that case, I'll give you an example where uh, assume that we have a team of five to six people and I'm the architect of the team. Uh, all the team members are uh, divided into a gr small group who dedicatedly work on the different services of AWS. So assume that two people working on S3, two people working on 
uh, EC2 instance and other two people are working on the RDS creation and installation uh, uh, services of AWS so for that I don't want everyone to give all the access so I will create a separate group uh, containing these people as a user into that and I will allocate only that specific role and responsibility to, to that group using my IAM so they are not authorized uh, or accessible to other services of AWS account so mistakenly or accidentally they uh, will not going to uh, create any problem for a specific other services so they won't log into EC2 instance and can be delete, delete or uh, do some manipulation or modification to that account so as for the uh, purpose of the security this will be the best uh, suitable service available in AWS so let me quickly show you that how we can create our group so you need to first of all create our user I'll show you how we can create a user once you log in you need to create a add user give a name I'll give it AWS user here you will see select AWS access type where you can have a programmatic access as well as AWS management console programmatic access will helpful to you when you are working on uh, a specific uh, service API call using your pr programming language let's say if you are working with Scala or Java and in that case you will, you need to connect to S3 or you need to connect to RDS system in that case you need to get a programmatic access where you will get access key and secret access key uh, as your credentials and using that you can connect to S3 and uh, RDS kind of services using a programmatic application for that I have some uh, I have uh, another video which you can refer you'll find that link on my channel so uh, we are not going to current currently look into the programmatic access because I already covered in my past video so I'll show you AWS management console and then if press next you need to create a group for that so I'm going to create a group and I will name it to S3 let's say S3 group here you will find the policies that which all policy you want to allocate to the specific group okay as I discussed earlier uh, if you want if you have a specific group which will deal with S3 only then you have to create the policy S3 only so if the if we take the use case I write S3 here and I'll get all the list of available policies right now so one is like S3 full access one is S3 read only accesses right so let's go ahead with this example where my user will going to get full access of S3 where they can create upload the uh, and download and delete the bucket and the files S3 object also let's go ahead create review right and create user my user got created I have one time password generated here which I'm going to use to log in to my AWS console using this AWS user uh, remember this will be one time password only if you want you, uh, it to save in your machine you can download that into a CSV file or you can send a mail as well uh, remember if you are not going to get it again so be careful while you are getting this object uh, as a uh, object uh, as a credentials okay so let's go ahead and close this now I have my user with S3 group and uh, let's try to log in using this uh, account so for that I'll take you through my dashboard where we have our uh, URL mentioned okay so if you click this URL and uh, if you paste it here so let's give it a try we have our login page ready I will open the downloaded credential file to get the password and the user data this will be my to user and this will be my password And 
you will log into your AWS console. Now if you see here I have a IAM role ideas lambda EC2 DynamoDB okay but the thing is what I have given as access to S3. So let's quickly first check with S3 whether we are having S3 object access here or not. I'll quickly go into S3. Okay, now I logged into my S3. I'll check whether I am having the access to create a bucket or not. I will randomly say AWS user IAM and then create. Right, so I have the creation of a bucket access available. Along with that, you can upload your image, image, download your image, and do all the manipulations and modifications using this S3 account. I will, I will go. I will go quickly to some other service and check whether I am having the access or not. For that, I will choose RDS. Let's say we go to RDS and try to create a database whether we have that access or not. Let's try to create a database and we'll see. And I got a message that failed to load the data as it is not authorized to perform any operation on RDS. Right? So, the main purpose of creation of RDS, uh, sorry, main purpose of creation of a user is to cons to restrict your user by accessing all the services available in AWS. Uh, as per the mandatory statement, you should not log into your AWS account using the root uh, credentials. It should always be your uh, custom user creation, and you should log into your app application using the custom uh, user creation. Uh, let's now quickly look into that how we can authorize uh, our user in much more detail and how we can uh, uh, apply a application level of author authorization here I am back in my root account we'll go to IAM and if you see here multi-factor authentication Activate multi-factor authentication. You need to go for manage MFA. There, you can choose a password or continue to security credentials. Here, you will find multi-factor authentication option available. How you can activate this multi-factor authentication? The reason and the purpose of the multi-factor authentication is to a second layer of security to access your AWS account. So let's say one is your password and second one is something which you want as authentication which should be highly secure. So in that purpose multi-factor multi authentication is provided from AWS services. For that to activate it we simply create and activate MFA. For that you will have a set of list by which you can create MFA. One is using your app in your mobile device. You simply need to add a MFA supported uh, application. In your mobile application whenever you will log in you will get a unique identification number over there and you need to provide that number while logging into this application the other option is UTF security key and other hardware MFA devices that is called a hardware device which you need to plug into your machine which will generate a six digit of your authorization code which you need to provide in that so by selecting virtual MFA device you will go ahead and continue you will find a, Q, a QR code here which you need to scan with your application which you have downloaded in your application which support MFA and once you scan this image you will get two uh, uh, code six digit code both the code you need to enter in your uh, a box and once you're done with that your uh, device will be su successfully authenticated with your AWS account so every time when you want to log in you need to provide your password and secondly you need to go to your application open that application a six digit uh, number will be displayed over there and you need to provide that number as well so by this way you can secure your uh, secure your user and uh, you can provide additional uh, you can provide additional security onto this group now if you see under policy that there are so many policies which is already predefined by AWS account and you can choose any of them according to your requirement and uh, your uh, 
per permissions so if you expand it you will find a json kind of symbol which we need to go into to check with the policy and the details provided into that policy so if you see the version which they are using is on 17th of 10 month and it is on 2012 effective allow action and resources so this permission that is administrator access will allow a specific user to access any service of aws account so on to ma maximizing of any of the service you will find to know you'll get to know that what all permissions that uh, policy contains so when you click on that json formation you will find a json and you can easily identify that all, all services that role is already handling and what all things you can achieve with these roles so uh, to conclude on this part i have covered today iam session uh, i'm going to cover much uh, many other sessions as well on top of uh, on point of view of question 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 answer series so be in touch with this channel subscribe to channel and press the bell icon to get all the notifications related to the series i'm going to upload many more videos which covers the practical as well as the last lab session which will give you the in-depth understanding of aws services and which help you to crack your interview thank you so much for joining me for in this session we'll see you soon thank you